All I really can say here is it's the end of season two. Who knows what season th- Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. It's the last episode of season two A Funny Side Up, your favorite online cooking show. You voted for herring and popcorn. You guessed it, I'm making Estonian potato salad. Let me tell you about it. Well, there's this country called Estonia. It's over there, you know, by the Baltic Sea. It's in Northern Europe. Let me just tell you that they're Finnic people. And that means probably that they like to eat a lot of potatoes and meat and herring. When they have their big meals, they always have this cold table. It's the first course. Well, it's a potato salad with herring. That would be served on this cold table. We are adding popcorn as a topping. Have you heard of cream cheese popcorn? It's not likely. In like Scandinavian countries, herring often goes with cream cheese. Cheesy popcorn on top of a potato salad with herring. Let's just, let's just get started because I could really, really go on. First things first, we're gonna cut up a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna use a big bowl like this. Into it we will add a small red onion, two tart apples. You could use tart red or you could use tart green. Dice them up. Eggs, three hard boiled eggs. And then we're gonna chop them up. Throw it in. And there you have it. Salt it. We're gonna throw on in five Yukon Gold potatoes. Okay, so the beets should be done. Oh, right, did I mention the beets yet? Christmas with Heather Freaks flock together Making all the people scream It's time, herring. Herring is an oily fish that belongs to the genus Clupia. It lives in the North Pacific and North Atlantic Oceans. They're very high in omega-3 fatty acids, as many oily fish are, and vitamin D. So it's kind of like, what could be wrong with eating herring? This right here is a schmaltz filet, which is a salted herring. I went to this really famous institution in New York City that's known for carrying a wide selection of delicious, delicious herring. It's called Russ and Daughters. And I met this really nice guy there named Larry who totally hooked me up with this schmaltz filet. So thank you, Larry. <laughs> As you can see, the beets are dying the whole salad, which is exciting. So now we have to make the dressing. About a half a cup of sour cream with a teaspoon of mustard. I'm actually using spicy brown mustard. Some salt. Pour this all over and mix it again. Making the cream cheese popcorn. Popcorn. According to Wikipedia, it's, quote, a type of corn which explodes from the kernel and puffs up when heated. Originally, it was discovered by Native Americans during the Great Depression. Originally, it was discovered by Native Americans. During the Great Depression, people ate a whole lot of popcorn because it was cheap. Get yourself a saucepan like so. Turn up the heat. Add enough popcorn to coat the bottom of the pan. Cover it and do this. You can hear it. Did you see that? You shake it and that makes sure that nothing burns. And I think we're good. 
Not a single kernel left unpopped. So for this cream cheese topping, we're gonna melt two tablespoons of butter. While that's melting, get a quarter cup of cream cheese. Let's see if we can mix it together. Might need to use a whisk for this. Let's just pour it on the popcorn. It's a little lumpy, but I think, oh my God, it's gonna be fine. We'll just mix it. <sighs> okay, it took some improvisation, but the cream cheese did melt into the popcorn. And I'll see you when we try it. I put some of the popcorn on top to add a crunchy element. And I poured some chives on top of that. So here we go. Dig right in. It's just fish right away in your face. Fish. Delicious fish. Salty fish. Oh, it's very good. The potato salad, mm-hmm. It's so briny. Now in terms of the popcorn, the popcorn's really chewy now. It's good, because the cream cheese actually does add an interesting element. I'm gonna take a month off, and I'm gonna figure out my life a little bit. But in the meantime, if there's anyone who wants to create their own cooking video, I will put it up on Funny Side Up. If you're interested in that, you can contact me at my email address, which I'll list at the season two over. Season three, who knows? I'll see you folks later.